Good day viewers, welcome back to our chemistry class. This is Aliphatic Teaches. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. If we are our usual member, I say thank you for believing in me. Today, we are going to move on to empirical and molecular formulae. The word empirical formulae, it refers to the number of atoms present in a compound, that is the ratio of the atoms present in that given compound. While the molecular formulae, these are the total number of atoms present in that compound. Let us assume When hydrogen reacts with oxygen, it gives H2O. Here, hydrogen molecule is reacting with oxygen molecule to give water molecule. The ratio of hydrogen to oxygen here is 2 to 1. Hydrogen here is 2, oxygen here is 1. But let's assume we want to balance this equation. Let me put 2 here. 2 here, then 2 here, then hydrogen is 4, oxygen is 2, okay, 2 here, hydrogen is 4, hydrogen is 4, oxygen is 2, oxygen is 2. For me, you can see that our hydrogen has increased to 4, our oxygen has increased to 2. The one we did initially, that is the empirical formula of that compound, while this one now is the actual ratio. In the reaction of the chemical equation, which is called the molecular formula. Now let's look at the way of calculating the empirical and molecular formula. Example one: calculate the empirical formula of a compound containing 43.4% sodium, 11.3% carbon, and 45.3% oxygen. Here, we want to find the way of calculating empirical formula. We list our elements with their percentages. We have sodium Na 43.4%. Then we have carbon 11.3%. Then we have oxygen, which is 45.3%. Now, the next thing is to divide by their atomic mass. That's the atomic number, atomic mass. That is 43.4 divided by sodium is 23. 11.3 divided by carbon, 12. 45.3 divided by oxygen, which is 16. So when we divide this, we have 1.89, 0.94, 2.83. The next step is you now divide this by the smallest number. We divide by the smallest number. Let's consider the whole number. 1, 0, 2. So 0 is less. So we divide by 0 0.94. Divided by 0 0.94. Divided by 0 0.94. So I will take our calculator and we'll divide. What do we have? Here we have 2.01, 1.0, and 3.04. Now the last one is to now convert to the smallest to the whole number. Convert this one to whole number, we have two, we have one, we have three. So our empirical formula, empirical formula will now be sodium Na is two carbon is 1, oxygen is 2, which gives Na2CO3, sorry, 3, so Na2CO3.
example two, find the empirical formula of an oxide of iron containing 17.0% iron. Look at that word, oxide of iron, meaning it contains oxygen and iron. And don't forget the positive one will come first, that is iron and oxy oxygen. So oxide of iron, given that Fe, our iron Fe, equals to 70.0%, then our oxygen will be, since it's in percent, it's going to be 100 minus 70 in percent. This gives 30 percent. Now what's the next step? Is to divide by their atomic mass, 70.0 divided by 56, then we have 30 divided by 16. Now when we divide this, we have 1.25 and 1.88. Then we divide by the smallest number. This is one, this is one, they are both equal. Consider the next one, this is two, this is eight. So this two is less than this eight. So divided by 1.25, divided by 1.25. So here, 1.5 here. Then we now change to all numbers. We have one and we have two. Because this five is a number between five to nine, you round up to one. How the one you're making two. So the empirical formula, the empirical formula becomes ion F E1, then oxygen O2. That is F E O2. So this is the empirical formula of this. Example three. A certain hydrocarbon contains 80.0% carbon by mass. If its relative molecular mass is 30.0, determine its molecular formula. First thing you have to note is hydrocarbon. When you go back to buy one of my class named hydrocarbon, that is organic chemistry, you will know that hydrocarbon is a combination of hydrogen and carbon. So in this case, you are given 80% carbon. The remaining percentage will be for hydrogen. But what we want to calculate now is the molecular formula. Now, let's go this way. The first thing is our carbon contains 80.0% carbon. Then hydrogen will now be 100 minus 80, which gives 20.0%. We calculate our empirical formula first by dividing both sides by their atomic masses. 80 0.0 divided by carbon, which is 12, then 20.0 divided by 1. So when you do this, we have 6.67, then this one we have 20. So what is this? The smallest number here is this. So we have divided by 6.67, divided by 6.67. We have 1.0, so we have 3.0. So the empirical formula is carbon, which is one, then hydrogen, which is two, three, that is CH3. But what we want to calculate is, we want to get our molecular formula. So that is the actual number of atoms present in these uh, hydrocarbons. So we say, since molecular formula, so mo molecular formula is going to be equal to N multiplied by CH3. So these are, our C, these are our compound, CH3. Let's multiply it by an unknown letter N, which we are looking for. So relative molecular formula given to us, let's say R and MR is 30, which equals to N bracket. Atomic mass of carbon here is 12, plus hydrogen given here is 1, multiplied by 3. So we have 30 equals to N bracket. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 12, we have 15. So we have 30 equals to 15n. We drive both by 15. So n equals to 2. So going back here, our basic molecular, our molecular formula will now be n bracket CH3, that is 2 bracket CH3. This gives 2 times this, we have C2. H, 2 times 3, we have what? 6. 
So this is the relative, this is the molecular formula of the hydrocarbon, C2H6. Four. A carbon contains 4.0 grams of hydrogen and 64.0 grams of oxygen. If its relative molecular mass is 34.0, find its molecular formula. So we go by, first of all, calculate the empirical formula. But in this case, we are given mass and not in percentage. So you don't need to convert to percentage. We use the actual mass as it is here. Hydrogen equals to 4.0 grams. Then, and oxygen equals to 64.0 grams. So we divide by the atomic mass divided by 1. 64.0 divided by 16. So here we have 4 and 4. So divided by the smallest number is still 4. Divided by 4, divided by 4. So we have 1 and we have 1. So the empirical formula is equals to HO. So what we want to calculate now is molecular formula. Relative molecular mass equals to N brackets our empirical formula HO. So we have relative molecular mass is given as 34. 34 is equal to N brackets. Atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 plus oxygen 16. So 34 is equal to N brackets. We have 17. So 34 is equal to 17 N. So the value that by 17, by 17. So N equals to 2. So our molecular formula, molecular formula will now be equals to, from here, N bracket H2, 2 brackets H2. So we now have H2O2. So this is the molecular formula of this compound. So this is how to get the empirical formula and molecular formula of any compound. If you have any question, kindly drop it in the comments below. By God's grace, we are going to attend to it. I remember Latif Ismaila Akumbi, your mathematics and chemistry tutor. Try to subscribe if you have not subscribed, and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Thank you.